Hey, hey, hey guys, Old Man G here, back again with another post-match reaction video, and Greenwood Greatness, Greenwood Greatness, Manchester United 1, FC Astana 0, Mason Greenwood with the brilliant finish, Van Persie S finish, to basically give Manchester United the win. Now, to be honest, it wasn't that great of a game, FC Stan, you know what they were going to do, I said it in my match preview, if you, if, if you click the link, that FC uh, Stan were just basically going to just sit back and basically defend, and pretty much do that or game. And that's essentially what they did. And then hit us on the counter. Um, we found it difficult, very, very difficult to break them down. I think most of the time we were passing the ball sideways, sideways, sideways. It was difficult. Um, and frankly, um, again, this game kind of exposed that we really, really, really need a creative player. Um, Solskjaer surprised a lot of people by starting the youth. Um, obviously, we knew that Greenwood, Twan C B, and Romero were, were going to be starting, but the fact that Gomez and uh, Chong started, you know, I think was re was was really really um, um, great. Um, if I'm honest, I think that out of the three, I think Gomez had, even though Greenwood scored, I think Gomez actually had the better game, in my opinion. Well, before he was taking off, um, and you know, when Lingard and Mata came on, you're thinking, oh, okay. The story is going to be the senior players bailing them out, youth not ready. So I'm really, really happy that Mason Green would actually score because it was like, he is ready. And to be honest, I'd have rather had Mason Green would actually starting centrally. Um, and if Daniel James was playing, you know, I would have had to have him on the left. But I'd much rather preferred that, uh, Mason Green to start up top than for Rashford to start up top and then, you know... Um, for Green to basically be on, on the right. It's not that that's a big problem with that. It's just that, for me, especially when you see that finish, I think Mason Greenwood um, is a better finisher than Rashford. And we saw some of these games in preseason. He is a better finisher. Um, obviously, you know, as I said earlier, like, we do lack that creative play, and it showed. Matic is showing the reason why, personally, for me, like, he doesn't start because he's slow, because... So he slows, he slows the game down and really we we really need to design, in my opinion, a, a really quick defensive midfield, like a party, like an Ndidi, just anyone, because we don't have that really. Fred, Fred did Fred show that he could play that? Possibly. Um, I would be, I would really like to have seen a Fred Pereira and Gomez midfield so that Fred maybe played the DM and then Pereira and Gomez like, further and further up, possibly. Um, i don't think Fred is going to start the weekend, but then I'm interested to see. I mean, I imagine it will be um, McTominay, Pereira, and Pogba, but I would probably like to see Pogba come, uh, Fred coming in that for Pereira, in my opinion, because I don't think Pereira has played particularly well. Um, but uh, but definitely, I think there's some positive signs. I think Chong. I think Chong actually had quite a bad game, if I'm honest. I think that. Um, I think. Chong would be, I think Chong needs to go out on loan, is my personal opinion. I think he needs a good, good loan spell to try and get good, um, to try and get a lot of gains on his belt and just try and get his confidence because I, I think he really struggled today. Um, whereas I feel that Gomez, you know, I think Gomez felt comfortable. Francibi, importantly, I think also felt comfortable. To be honest, I felt he'd had a much better game than Phil Jones, so that's not really saying that much. But certainly I think that Francibi did enough to warrant his third choice of centre-back, and possibly maybe um, if Lindelof ends up being a bit shaky, possibly second choice. I think there's room or scope for him to actually go into that in, in, in that centre-back position. So I think he had a solid game one. Not that there was that much really to do, really. Romero, fairly solid in goal as well. Um, Lingard and Mata, you know, did what they had to do. Um, Rojo, you know, is Rojo, really. There's not really not much else to say, say of that. Well, he did have an awful game, but you know, I don't think he had an amazing game either. Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, again, not the best of games, but I'm happy. I don't want to do one of the negatives because I'm really happy that the youth really, that Oli played the youth, Oli trusted them, and I'm really, really happy for Mason Green. I'm so, so, so happy that um, he, <coughs> sorry, he was, um, he was able to score. Um, I really, really hope that um, Oli Gunnar shot uses him um, from now on. Thanks again for listening, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Who was your man of the match? We'll be doing the player rating video in a second. But yeah, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow us on Twitter, United X. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.